come to your mat and let yourself just sit today. I don't care if you're cross-legged or if you want to sit hips on heels. Just for a moment, let's just shift what, where we have been and what we're doing and bring our attention inward. So that for this next 30 minutes, our attention is focused on what's going on inside of our body. So you're moving your awareness to just watch breath. It's always the one thing that's present. It's not worried about the past or considering what's going to happen in the future. It's our best resource to bring us into the present moment. Taking a deeper breath in. Feeling the exhale slide out just a little bit slower, a little bit longer. Just giving an invitation to our nervous system to relax. <laughs> Relax and ungrip anything that feels grippy in our bodies. Consciously just tuning in to the way that breath feels like it's moving in your body. Nice work. So when you're ready, just move out of your seated position into hands and knees. Your hands can spread wide on the mat or you can choose to be on fists. Start with your cat and cow pose, lifting the tailbone and the head towards the sky. And then as you exhale, arching the back and reaching it up. Tie the breath to your movement. And right now, just feel yourself loosening and releasing the restriction of the spine. Working out any of the uh, stagnation that sets in overnight. Just knowing that moving your breath through your body is one of the, the key ways to assist in that uh, attempt to release ama from the body. That every breath and every movement that you do is in coordination with this higher purpose. And then neutralize your back and I want you to just imagine that you had a two by four on your back and as you swing flat back forward and back, notice the load changes on your wrist, the load changes on your knees, you're messing around at the shoulder junction with the top of the arm and where the leg bones go into the hip socket. Just starting to get some mobility in those joints. And now walk your hands a little bit further away from you. And then as you come forward, just let your hips sink down towards the floor. Pull your shoulders away. Lift back up to hands and knees and then stretch back towards a child's pose. Because our hands are so far away, you might not sink all the way to child's, but go as far as it feels good. And then come all the way up, sinking hips forward, lifting up. So the exhales are letting the hips go backwards or forwards. And every time you inhale, everything comes back to hands and knees. We're just tying together the movement of the joints with a little bit more flexibility of the spine.
Good work. So as you bring yourself back to center, just walk the hands back so that they're right underneath shoulders. Let's do some twists, stretching the hand under right hand under left armpit, reach, and then inhale, pull elbow up or fingertips up, reach and extend, reach and extend, reach and extend. Nice. Just some good rotations through the spine. You can move as slowly or as quickly as your body's inclined to move today. And then put the right hand down, move with the left underneath the right armpit, big stretch, inhale, that hand comes up to the sky. It's like pulling a lawnmower. Right now I feel like more like I'm picking dandelions up and throwing the seeds up into the air. I don't know, there's something going on in the end of my fingers when I lift my hands to the sky. Yeah, good work. And as you come back down again now, put your hands on the floor. Let the back toes curl under. <clears throat> back toes curled under. Let's just lift knees a little tiny bit. Hips press back towards heels. Press legs a little bit straighter. <coughs> knees come back down again. <coughs> lift knees, straighten legs. Bend knees, let them float. Straighten legs. So the knees uh, and legs, when I say straight, they're actually not coming to a full straight position. They're still very bent. You're just lengthening your long flat back up to the sky. Coming back down to a crouch, knees lifted. Good work. Now let's go all the way to downward dog and then just begin to paddle heels here. Heels paddle, hips can sway, just breathing into the whole back body. You're pressing palms firm into the floor and letting the sit bones reach up to the sky. Head hangs on the end of the spine. Sweet work. Gaze forward to the thumbs, bend your knees, let the feet walk to hands. Inhale to tabletop, big stretch here. Pull the crown of the head forward and away from the hips. Let the back of the neck be soft, your chin coming into chest. Feel length all the way down the front side of the body. Next exhale, fold deeply, fingers to floor. Inhale, sweep hands all the way up to the sky. Exhale, drop them to your heart. Inhale, hands up. Exhale for a deep forward fold. Long flat back, deep forward fold, hands plant, go to plank. Good, okay, so from plank, you're welcome to stay here. You can go to your knees or you can go to your forearms. Just go where it's comfortable. Slowly lower yourself down to the floor. We let the whole front body plant. Take a moment to reorient your shoulders, pulling them down your back. Tuck your chin, let the nose point right to the mat. Without your hands pressing into the floor, peel the chest up, the back body muscles contracting to lift you, lower back down again. Lifting that front body and lowering it back down again. There's some engagement of core, contraction of back muscles, lengthening extension of front body muscles. Choose if you'd like to let the toes lift as well as the chest. A few more. Just waking up, reminding your body all the different parts that it can recruit for support during your day. Come all the way down. Hands plant, toes curl, press to hands and knees, and then go all the way to a downward dog. Paddle heels, chest reaches to thighs, I want you to look up between your fingers. You're going to take your right foot and plant your right foot between your hands. 
Now that might take 10 steps. Sometimes I bring my right foot to the outside of the pinky and then heel step it in again. Once that foot lands, let your back knee ground onto the floor. Your choice here to lift hands to thigh or let them open to sky. Slide those hips forward. Just get a nice stretch through that left hip flexor. Sweet. Bring your fingertips down. Put both hands on the inside of that right leg and walk the right toes out over to the edge of the mat, opening that knee up to the side. If you are really flexible right now, you could drop your forearms down to the ground. That knee, let me see if I can give you a better view. That knee is not square anymore to the elbow. It's opening out to the side. There you go. Nice. Good. Okay, knee draws back up to center. Put the hand on the outside of that right foot. Heel step the right foot in. Now you can keep the back knee grounded or you can turn the back toes under and lift that back leg. Your choice. Hand inhales up to thigh. Fingers lift up to sky. Slide those hands down to heart. Now we take a twist here, taking the left elbow over to the right knee, or perhaps you're just dropping the left hand to the outside of the knee, bringing the right hand to your low back. Twisting that right shoulder up, open. Whichever version feels good for you. If palms are pressed together, you're lifting your chest up to meet the palms. Good. And as you exhale, bring your fingers back down to the floor. We take the back foot and we just step it forward. Good, tabletop, long flat back. Exhale for a deep fold. Inhale, fingers lift all the way up to sky. Exhale, hands to heart, nice work. Inhale, hands come all the way up to the sky. Exhale for a deep forward bend. Breathe in, long flat back. Plant your hands, step back to your plank pose again. Choose, you can be on forearms, you can be on knees. Lower slowly to the floor. Let your whole body plant and do a cobra. Little lift of toes, peel chest off the floor. Let your body down, back toes curl under. Hands and knees, downward dog. Paddle your heels, sway your hips. Press the palms into the floor. Push the sit bones in the opposite direction. You're gonna gaze to your thumbs and think about your left hand. Ah, sorry, your left foot coming up to ground between those hands. And remember, take as many steps as you need. If you need that left foot to come to the outside of the left pinky and then just sidestep it in, go ahead. Once you get it there, drop your back knee. Uncurl your back toes. Inhale, hands to thigh or sky. Good work. Fingers come down to the inside of that left foot. Left toes open all the way up to the side of your mat and then let the knee lean open. You know if you have flexibility here, you can go to your forearms. Just lowering the front body down. Sometimes you can sway here. It's a big opening in that hip, especially if you take your body um, forearms to ground. My body doesn't need me to. My hips are tight enough that I need to keep my arms straight. Sweet. So let's let the left knee come back up to center and slowly walk it back to the middle of your mat. For the twist, you can choose to keep that back knee grounded or you can turn the toes under, lift the back knee. Inhale, the hands can come to the thigh again or to the sky. Push, reach through the front knee, stretch through that back heel. Hands come down to center, we take a twist. Remember your, your options. 
Option one, right elbow to left knee, lifting that chest up in line with the palms. Option two, hand just comes to the outside of the knee. Left palm into low back. Yeah, either way, they're all good. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Nice work. And then as you turn and tent your fingers around that front foot, think about stepping forward with the back foot, reaching it to land beside the left, tabletop your back. Exhale, fingers fold to the floor. Inhale, open hands to sky. Exhale, hands come to heart. Good work. Big breath in. Nice forward fold. Long, flat back, deep in the fold. Just hang out here for a second. Your knees can be as bent as they need to be so that you're messing around with both the extension on the backs of your legs and the release of your spine. Shake your head on the end of that spine, let yourself fall. Head off the end of spine, spine out of the hips. Tractioning it down to the floor. Good. And then put hands on shins again, long flat back. Nice. Exhale, fingers to floor. Big breath in, hands all the way to sky. And then press hands to heart, stepping back with the right foot. Bend into the front knee. Feel that nice stretch into your warrior one legs. All right, so some of you will have some piece of furniture close to you or a wall. You can use that for balance if you like. Peel that back heel off the floor and slowly feel like your shoulders and body weight is shifting down over that left front leg. Come off the tippy toes and then press the left leg straight. Stay right here. Let's just tick tock the long flat back toes touching the floor and bouncing off again. Bring yourself to the biggest version of warrior three. You're folding forward as much as your body tells you that it has capacity to fold forward. Stretch through that back heel, reach through the crown of your head. Good. Now see if you can do three little bends of the front knee. <laughs> Good work. Sweet. Hands stretch right out in front of you or out to side in airplane wings. Bring them back to heart, bend the front knee, put that back foot down, breathe hands to sky. Keep the front knee bent, breathe. Hands drop to heart, back foot steps forward. Inhale up. As you bring hands down to heart, step back with the left. Sink into the front knee. Good work. Press that back heel down into the floor, reach through the front knee, feel the stretch through the back leg. Breathe, breathe. Deep bend into that front knee. Lean your body weight over top of the right foot. Lift the back heel, peel up onto the big toe, straighten that front leg, and then just tick tock as if you had a board all the way along your back body. The heel to the crown, long straight line. Now fold as far forward as your body lets you. Three little bends in your standing leg. Nice. Come from that position and choose a warrior three. Hands can stay at heart. They can open up airplane wings. Maybe they stretch out in front of you. Breathe, breathe. Bring hands to heart, bend that front knee, put the back foot down on the ground, inhale up, warrior one. Big breath. Big breath. Good work. Drop those hands back down to heart, step the back foot forward, and breathe there. Nice work. Take your, um, body and just open it into a wide leg forward fold. I'm going to fold forward now. If you want to only go part way, 
You might find a piece of furniture close to you and or a block. We're going to fold forward. So if there's nothing around fingertips on floor, maybe you get to put your fingertips down on the seat of a chair. If you have blocks, you could bring them down to blocks. Your choice. Wide leg forward fold. Wherever you've chosen, just take a long flat back as if you're lengthening the chest away from the pelvis. Left fingers stay connected, tented or flat on whatever surface you're using. Right arm opens up. Now imagine you had a wine glass on your hips, on your sacrum. I want you to tip in such a way that that wine glass will not fall. So you're isolating your upper back. Breathe. Breathe. Good job. And slowly bring the right hand down to the floor. Left hand opens up and same thing. Imagine that wine glass on your, on your low back. So it's on the back of your hips and you can't tip so much that that will fall off. Breathe. Breathe. Good job. Release that down. Now this time, right arm lifts, left knee totally bends. Your wine glass slides right off your back. Come down, left hand goes up, right knee bends deeply. So just sweep back and forth. It's a deeper uh, twist because we're letting the hips get involved in it. We're allowing the mobility of our knees and ankles to support this twist. Go as slowly as your body wants to go. My body wants to go fast today for some reason. So this movement is quick in my body, which is kind of a kapha balancing thing to add more movement, add that movement more vigorously, move stagnation, moves kapha, which is heightened in springtime, out of the body. Sweet, hands come down. Transition all your weight to the soles of your feet. Bring hands to hips. Long, flat back lift all the way up. <sighs> Feeling good. Nice. Okay, a little bit of side body stuff. So let's just turn the right toes out. Sink into that right knee. Yeah, I'm always thinking of how we design, make sure we do all the poses for all the different joints all the different muscle groups, sides of the body. So we need some lateral. We've done lots of forward, backward motion. We need some lateral motion. Same here. Yeah, back hand falls to the back thigh. Open the fingers to the sky. Back to warrior two. Stretch, side angle. Open to warrior two. Extended, exalted warrior. Warrior two, side angle long stretch to the side warrior two now my movement is quick today so if you want to be going slower you absolutely just slow things down let it follow your breath two more on this side up warrior two reach along that extended side angle warrior two last one nice if you feel the front thigh burning a bit, my favorite part. Nice. And when you come back to warrior two this time, straighten the front leg. Toes both face forward and then turn the left toes out. Let's let the knee sink out over top of that ankle. Breathe a bit. Breathe a bit before we start this side. Good. So long, long stance. Shoulders roll down your back. Open your hands. Take a deep breath. Extended side angle, warrior two, reach, oh, extended side angle, <laughs> warrior two, exalted, warrior two, good work. Remember, you're just flowing through three poses, letting your breath guide you. Go as fast as your body sort of wants to move today. Go as slow as your body, so don't echo my movement. Just notice what your body wants to do. Two more. 
exalted warrior extended side warrior last one extended side angle back to warrior straighten that front leg good job hands come to hips heel step those feet back together we're gonna bring them all the way together nice couple heel lifts here just imagining the insides of your legs zippered together as you mess around with bringing some strength into the ankles nice heel set down pelvis stays really square neutral as if it was a bowl filled with water sink into your knees slide your back down an imaginary wall roll your shoulders down your back watch your fingers lift out in front of you without your bottom rib coming with breathe Feel the burn start in the legs. Let your breath get really fluid, really flowing, controlled, strong, supporting the strength of this. Yes. Yes, good work. Feels so good. Inhale all the way up. Sweet work. Hands come down. We've got to do one balance pose. Right heel lifts off. So you're watching that your neck and shoulders don't get tension. Okay, knee lifts, fingers come to the inside of that knee, open it up. Good. Left hand out to the side. Nice. Knee comes to center, left fingers touch the knee, open the right hand back behind you. Come back to center now. Take this to warrior three again. Stretch that heel back behind you. Open up into that version of warrior three that feels good for you today. And then come out. Nice. Yay. Paddle. Sweep those hips back and forth. Nice work. Left knee lifts. Fingers to the inside. Open, breathe. Strong, fluid breath here. Just let it move. Nice work. Bring that knee back to center, hands to heart, and then press that heel back behind you. Reach through the crown of your head. Breathe. Beautiful. Bend into that knee. Inhale. Come all the way up. Did we do all of them on this side? Okay. Nice work. I got distracted. I don't know if we did those three things the same as we did on the other side or if we messed them up. Regardless. Hopefully you did them all the way you wanted your body to do them. Front of your mat. Inhale, hands to sky. Exhale, deep forward fold. Long flat back. Plant your hands, step to plank. Choose right now if your knees are gonna open wide and you're gonna sink back to a child's pose or if there's still some vigor left in that body and you wanna just stay in a downward dog, go ahead. Five breaths. All of us meet hands and knees. Sweep the feet over to one side. Bring the bum back to the floor. Stretch yourself onto a long flat back. We'll do just a tiny twist on the floor. Just go to my favorite. Hands hugging elbows. Knees drop left, elbows drop right. Inhale everything back up to center. Knees drop right, elbows drop left. So again, here, notice if you want to hang out on one side and just breathe there, or if you want to go back and forth with the breath. Sweet. 
Coming back to center. Nice. And then bring your fingers to the hip flexor muscle at the top of your leg bone where it enters the hip socket. Let's do a couple little bridges. So your little bridge might be you just pressing into the feet, lifting the hips a couple centimeters. You could also just press those hips right to the sky. Just make sure that when you go back down again, you're putting a deep crease, deep bend in that hip flexor muscle. And as you lift up into little bridge, it's lengthening. So this isn't a rotation of one vertebrae of the spine down at all. You're really just concentrating on putting some um, elasticity, suppleness, reactivity into the hip flexor muscle. It's not about rolling the spine down one at a time. The spine kind of lifts like it's a two by four, sets back down like it's a two by four. Yeah. <sighs> Back body grounds, knees come into chest. Two options here too. Just hang on to the knees. Cross your feet, hang out there. Maybe you're gonna roll the ankles in circles. Alternately, grab the inner arches, slide into a dead bug pose. Pressing knees into armpits as the tailbone presses to the floor. Either pose, really supportive as we finish our practice today. Now, as you relax out of that, just notice if there's anything else your body needs in terms of movement, allowing your body to find that final movement. Choosing, uh, depending on what's around you for furniture, what your final pose would be like, if you have you know, a way to put your legs up onto the seat of a chair or heels up on a wall or, or back of a chair. Go ahead. That's always nice. Just letting the blood flow back down, supporting the heart lungs. Or just traditional. Fall into stillness. I'll guide a short Shavasana today allowing yourself to just feel how that fire has built up into your body, how your agni has been fueled. And it is this agni that is supporting the transformation, the burning away of ama. Feel the fluidity of your breath, the ease of which it flows through your body, picking up, uh, grabbing hold of anything that no longer serves your body, and then bringing it back to be filtered out through the bloodstream, to be released through your lungs. Just notice how it feels to be an active participant, a co-conspirator with that greater deep intelligence of your body. The prana, the life force, vibrant, healthy, strong within you. And if your practice feels like you just want to move into a bit of a suntan on the back deck or a meditation right now, feel free. If you are ready to come out of your practice, just allow, just allow yourself to start to move. Sweet work, ladies. Nice, nicely done.